Hi YouTube, thank you so much for stopping by and watching today's video. My name is Monica. Today I'll be showing you how we transformed this island into this island. So grab yourself a nice cup of coffee and let's get started. I've been super excited to share with you guys this video. Uh, we're doing a renovation on our kitchen island. We did this island about over a year ago and it's held up pretty well, but the top of the island is stained wood and there's just a lot of scratches and nook like holes. Um, so we decided to replace it. Also, we have a very small kitchen. So we decided to remove the table and extend our island, making a island and table combo. What you just saw was a preview of what this kitchen looked like when we first moved in. All there was was that back wall of cabinets. So this is why we decided to add a island to this kitchen, just for more countertops and more storage space. So we're starting off here with creating the frame of what the table is going to be. I don't have the measurements as everybody's would be a different size anyways, but we didn't do such a big, big table. We just wanted enough for the four of us. I'll try and link as much as I can in the description below, but we're using for the legs um, these deck posts. My husband just cut them to size. Uh, again, I don't know what the size is, but if you do want to know, please just let me know in the comments below and I can definitely get those measurements for you. So this is one of the main projects that I wanted to get done this year. I have another big one coming up within the next couple months, so please stay tuned for that. Um, but this was definitely on priority list for this year. I thought I would add this really cute clip of our little fur baby playing in the snow. We live in Manitoba. Our s winter here's are just so long. We are dying for summer to come along, or spring, shall I say. Um, but our dog absolutely loves playing in the snow. He's just the cutest, and if he could, he would play all day out here. So to secure the table to the frame, we used these L brackets that we purchased from Lowe's. Um, we did it this way just so if we ever do decide to move or we want to remove this table um, for any reason, it's just a couple screws we gotta take out. And this project is totally budget friendly. Um, we can easily remove this island. Like I said, we're the ones that put it here. It is not attached to the ground at all. Um, it is pretty much just take it apart and it looks like when we moved in. So 
So for the tabletop and uh, the island top, we used this marble, full marble contact paper. It's actually really good quality. I will link it in the description below. Um, as you can see, we're going to struggle a little bit here because my husband is kind of a perfectionist and wants, you know, those lines to be perfectly aligned. And uh, this did take us quite a bit of time, but in the end, it was all worth it because it looked really good. I also did want to mention that this project only took us two days to complete. So now I'm just cutting the excess contact paper around the table and then I'm going to use this edge, band, edge banding around um, the frame or sorry shall I say the edges of the table uh, just to give it a more clean and finished look. So now I'm just painting the legs and the front of the table, um, just a plain white. Uh, my goal was to have, was kind of like to brighten up this kitchen, which is why you see so much white. I'm still contemplating on whether I should paint the back of that island white as well. Um, let me know in the comments below what you guys think, if I should keep it gray or if I should paint it white. I've honestly been really struggling to make this decision. I don't know. I've asked my kids, I've asked my husband, and neither one of us can decide whether we should paint it white or if we should just leave it gray. But let me know what you all think.
So to match the island, I did the marble contact paper also on the counter where the sink is, um, just so everything could match. I really like the way this turned out. It really brightened up the kitchen. I've gotten so many comments on it. Um, also, this contact paper I did purchase from Amazon. I bought about five rolls and we only used three. Um, but I will also link it below for you guys. I highly recommend it. It's very good quality, very shiny and very easy to clean. It's been about two weeks since we've done this and we're just loving how this kitchen turned out. I want to thank you guys so much for stopping by and watching today's video. I really do appreciate all the support I've been getting since I've started my channel. I do post weekly so please hit that um, subscribe button so you can be notified of any new videos. Hit that notification bell, leave me a comment, let me know where you're from. Uh, thanks again guys and we'll see you in my next video. Bye!